basic principle that cover reasoning and rational talk. They provide a framework for building very argument and making strong conclusion. The three main laws of classical logic are the law of identity, the law of non-contradiction, and the law of the excluded middle. Logical connective Using connective when two or more primitive statements can be combined to create a compound statement. The true value of the compound statement is determined the, by the true value of its primitive statement. Okay, so first of all, let's record what all these symbol mean. Okay, first we have the V backward, V and then the arrow. Okay, so we use the V backwards to symbolize N which is conjunction for P and Q. And then the V we use for disjunction or, so it became P or Q. And then the arrow, it means to implies. If then, if P then Q, so it became P implies Q. So logic can be used when we are given a long statement or the statement which consists of more than three primitive statements. Then a bit to table will be put. To avoid that, we can apply the following list of law. Name the law of logic to establish the logical equivalent. They are have 30 law of the logic. Today, I would like to explain about the law of logic. For any primitive statement P, Q, R, any tautology T, and any contradiction F. Okay, so first of all, the law of double negation. Okay, so for example, if not not Q, which is double not Q, so we can return it as Q only. Okay, so for the second one, we have De Morgan's law, which is if uh, not P or Q, it became not P and not Q. We, ha we have to switch the symbol from N to R or from R to N. Okay? Okay, so for the third one, we have commutative law which allows us to switch place between two statements. Okay, if for example, if P and Q, if we use commutative law, then we can switch it to Q and P. The symbol stays the same, only the statement changes the place. So for the fourth one, we have the associative law which allows us to switch a bracket placement. Okay, so from P and Q and R, P in bracket Q and R, we can switch it to in bracket P and Q and R. So, the next one is distributive law, which is sort of we expand the uh, statement to become a bigger statement. So, it can become like P, N, Q or R in bracket. So, it became P, N, Q or P, N, R. The next one is idempotent law, which allows us to recall the original statement which is in example it became p and p so it became just p okay so the next one is identity law which allow us to recall back the original statement such as um if p or f it became p if p and t it became p the next one is the inverse law. The inverse law uh, allow us to tell if any statement is tautology or contradiction. Okay, in example, if P or not P, it became true. But if P and not P, it became false. Okay, so the next one is we have domination law. Okay, so for example, if P or T, it became tautology. But if P and F, it become contradiction. The next one we have is absorption law. Uh, so, uh, this law allow us to absorb all statements so it become only one statement. Such as P or in bracket P and Q, it became P only. Okay, so uh, next we have the definition of implication or conditional on identity law. So, we we use it to change the um, the symbol implies to the symbol N or or. Okay, so from P implies Q, it became not P or Q. Next, we have the contrapositive law. Okay, from original statement, we just contrapositive it. Such as, um, if 
P implies Q Then it became not P implies not Q The next, the last one we have is the biconditional identity law Okay, so for example, if P biconditional not P So it became um, P implies Q and Q implies P these questions, P or bracket not P and Q logically impasse P or Q. So we need to solve right hand side. We change bracket P or not P and bracket P or Q using the distributive law. After that, P or not P, uh, change it to true and P or Q using the inverse law. Or the next step is P or Q using the identity law. So right hand side and left hand side this same. To solve these questions, okay, now we will be doing question 2. By using the laws of logic, make it and simplify Q in plus P and not Q or not P. Okay, when it say make it, so we need to make it negative or inverse it. So, the new equation become not in bracket Q implies P and not Q or not P. Okay, after that, that is our new equation. Then we can continue with simplify by using the laws of logic. So, by using the De Morgan's law, so not Q implies P or not in bracket not Q or not P. So after that, we will be using the definition of implication. So uh, we will be using it for the implies one. So the not not Q or P or not in bracket not Q or not P. So after that, we will be using the De Morgan's law back. So not not Q and not P or not not Q and not not P. Then we will be using the laws of double negation for the not not. So Q and not P or Q and P. Then we will be using the distributive laws. Q and in bracket not P or P. And then not P or P too. We will be using the inverse laws. So it will be true. So Q and P. After that we will be using the identity law and it become Q. Okay. Okay, now. So, for the next questions, complete the step as well as given the corresponding reason in the simplifications of the compound statement below using the law of logic. So, this question is Q in plus P and bracket Q or not R and Q. So, for the first step, we using the definitions of implications and we call not Q or P and Q or not R and Q. So the second question using the absorption law not Q or P and Q. So after that using the distributive law for the third one is the answer is Q and not Q or Q and P. For the next step using the inverse law the number 4 is false or P and Q. So the last one is P and Q. So the answer is identity laws. Okay, next for question 4. Fill in the blanks. The reason of each step in the simplification of the compound statement using the laws of logic. So, uh, what I've been highlight right now is the real equation that we need to simplify by using the laws of logic so first they will become p or q and in bracket q or in bracket not s or f which means false so um, from the first equation e it used inverse loss to become that equation which is it used inverse loss for the R and not R so after that they are using identity loss for the next question which is P or Q and Q or not S identity loss for the not S or F after that 
they are using commutative laws for the commutative laws uh, to change the equation P or Q to become Q or P so that it can but using distributive laws for our next equation so this after that of course we will be using distributive laws so it become Q or P and not S then they are using the definition of implication so it become not Q implies in bracket P and not S so for these questions, use the law of logic to determine whether bracket P and bracket P implies Q, close bracket implies Q. So for the steps, we are using the definitions of integration. So we got not bracket P and bracket not P or Q, close bracket or Q. So after that, we are using the De Morgan's law. We got bracket not P or not bracket not P or Q close bracket or Q. So we're using the same thing, the Morgan's law, and we got the bracket not P or bracket not not P and Q close bracket or Q. So we're using the law of double negations. We got bracket not P or bracket P and Q close bracket or Q. So we're using the distributive law we got bracket not P or P, close bracket and not P or Q, close bracket or Q. So, we're using the inverse law. We got true for not P or P, and then we got true and bracket not P or Q, close bracket or Q. So, we, we use identity law. We got not P or Q, close bracket or Q. So we using the associative law, we got not P or Q or Q. We change the bracket. So the last one is Adam-Potter law. So we got not P or Q. So for this questions, and the last one uh, for question six, simplify the following statement using the laws of logic. Not in bracket not in bracket not P implies Q and R close the bracket or not Q so I will write it back and then by using the De Morgan's law so it will become not not in bracket not P implies Q and R by the, using the De Morgan's law we will change the R to become not N so N not not Q and then after that we will be using the law of double negation to delete all the not not so it will become not P implies Q and R close the bracket and Q. After that, we will be using the definition of implication. So uh, for the implies one, so not not P or Q and R and Q. So after that, law of double negation. So it will become P or Q and R and Q. After that, we will be using the commutative law to change the equation between Q and R to make it easier for me to simplify it. So, P or Q and Q and R. So, by using the absorption law for the P or Q and Q, so it will become Q and R for the last equation. In conclusion, the law of logic are uh, in this Pensable tool for everyone engaged in critical thinking, problem solving, and the pursuit of knowledge.